Hello there, this is a quick um, demonstration, test, whatever, have a quick look at how to use um, a morph target to drive a bone rotation. So, what we've got here is we've got um, the original object is here, we've got the, uh, the morphed object here, so just got two boxes basically. And um, you'll see in our morpher, if we sort of scroll down, that box 6 is well that's the guy who's doing that, box 6 is a morph target. What we've also got over here because we want to um, want to drive this morph target here, wants to be able to drive the rotation of a bone so what I've got over here is a very basic, if you click on it, very basic mesh the idea of it's a mouth, isn't that a fantastic model? Uh, don't reply yes to that one because it's not, it's just a demonstration anyway it's not one of my fantastic characters. Right, so what we've got here, we've got um, three bones inside this mesh, one here, one here, and one here. They're just boxes and they uh, they rotate to move. What I've done, I've gone into wire parameters here and we've said um, the available target, which is this guy, which is a morpher, yeah, is tied into the X rotation of this bone and um, to set it up so it sort of works a bit better I just add it in uh, on the target here is we multiply it by 0 0.005 so that when we're dragging up this uh, multiply on the morpher it doesn't flip it around over and over and over you don't want that so that's that then really so to drive this we select the uh, morphing object and then we can dial up that and you can see that rotates it so we can drive, um, can use something like Morphomatic, Morph, not Morphomatic, Voicematic, to drive a bone rotation of a jaw. Um, and that is that really. So there's a quick simple how to. If you want a quick look at uh, how to get this all up and running, we'll sort of get rid of that and we'll just show you where we go. So we go to animation, wire parameters, wire parameters. We're looking at here, we're going to go and transform. It'll be the Morpher, that guy. Okay, I'm going to go and link it to this guy. Transform rotation, X rotation. Yeah, we won't do that. And that basically is um, is it. So that sorts that out. The, the hardest part of it is getting the dialog box up and getting that um, getting that uh, times by blah, blah 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 to make it so it doesn't flip over and over and over. So. That is basically it. How cool is that? I'll tell you, it's pretty cool. And um, that'll do. So there you go. You can use Voicematic to drive bone rotations um, or scaling or whatever. Just set it up and off you go. So these are just um, these things here are just controllers, uh, a way of linking a morph target into something else, into a rotation. And that, my friends, is that. So. Um, until next time, ta-ta. And we need to go and find how to delete this now. There we go. And bye-bye.